we do not want to be in a tornado, Mike, but in this case, weather.com, right here, you click on Tornado Week, you just choose an object and you can actually see what it would do depending on what type of tornado. So I'm going to give you three objects to choose from. Do you want to see a pig or train or a oh. chicken get lifted up? Well, um, not to sound be morbid, nice. but I'd, I'd love to see pig. No. I'd love to see pigs fly. You want to see nice. pig fly? All right, let's go ahead and take yeah. a look here. Weather.com. Click on Tornado Week, as I mentioned, it brings you right to the tornado simulator. Obviously, for entertainment purposes, it's also educational too to see exactly what would happen in case a pig did get picked up. And let's make this an EF5 tornado, by the way. So let's watch it as it works its way through the pig pen. Here it comes. It's a strong one. It's a big one, and you're going to see those pigs fly up into the atmosphere. There they go. And actually, you can take a bird's eye view. And there's also a way you can actually see the path of the pigs as they work their way up into the atmosphere. There they go, flying uh, hundreds of feet up into the air. Because as I mentioned, you can actually make this an EF5 tornado. You can make it a weak tornado to see what it would do to different objects, whether it's a pig, a car, a pickup truck, or a train getting derailed by a tornado. So this is really interesting stuff here. If you go to weather.com, just click on your object. We can also show what it would do to a tree as it works its way through the area too. So you can just go ahead in there, have some fun, weather.com. Of course, you'll be learning all kinds of things about tornadoes starting right here on the Weather Channel come Sunday.